<laughs> That's the intro. Aww. That's the intro. Okay, run the, run the intro. Thirsty Thursdays once again. Week 16 now. Thirsty Thursdays. What kind of day is it on the prairies? Oh, you know, it's getting colder, the dark the day's getting darker, harvest is in full swing and it's getting colder. We're getting to a point of the year where, you know, you see pumpkins. I actually I was at uh, the co-op the other day and they got like pumpkins the size of like Small cars in there, I'm telling you. It's called it's a Fiat a, pumpkin. That's yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, it's harvest time. It's fun times, but man, there's no snow on the ground yet, so I'm not gonna. Is it? I don't know. It could be <laughs> in your region if you're watching somewhere, but Shh. knock on wood on that one. Yeah. But anyhow. What Let's get we, our mind off. What are we gonna of, do? What's What do we do this same time every week? Try and take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are Ken. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have a Thursday taste test. Half the egg, triple T. Yes, right there. And... Ooh. Ooh, it's a bottle. Cute little bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read that? It's, uh, I need a bottle opener. The Thirsty Beaver. It's called the Thirsty Beaver. It's medium a, body. You know, last weekend we had like a, a roasted full body. Yeah, on you know, our live stream. It's the medium body, yeah, uh, 5%. The Thirsty Beaver. I like the bottle. It's it's not quite old school, but it's not new school. Smooth amber ale, medium bodied and bursting with flavor. This beer is clean to the finish. Yeah. I will be the judge of that. For every time I've had a medium bodied amber thirsty beaver. That's Tree Brewing Company. We're going old school with the yeah, we're old school, yeah, Dumb. Don't need So we'll try a thirsty beaver and then we'll have the beer after. Here's to the beaver. Noble M. Pretty smooth, it says on the label. From Kelowna, BC. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Yeah. What did we do last week on the live stream? We said. Ooh. It's... Oh, two thumbs up for me. Two, that's yeah. that's tasty. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thirsty Beaver. This is up there on some of the ones that you've brought in yet. But this is pretty damn good. Hmm. Could be just the mood I'm in. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, there's no <laughs> snow on the ground apparently, so we're, Woo, yeah. we're good. We're good at this well, point. Could be the name, could be psychological, mm -hmm. but I am down with the thirsty beaver. How's the beer though? No, it's good. <laughs> Doesn't leave a bad aftertaste in your mouth. Not like other beavers. Yeah. You know what this uh, reminds me of? What's that? Many a night with a good friend of mine, Adam Mobroski, I like to call Adam man. Because he, he can lift quite as, as much as an ant can lift in ratio to its body weight. He's a little tank. He's a good guy. You know what? Uh, I feel like we should give Adam a spontaneous phone call here. He doesn't know I'm going to call him, but uh, you should. let's have a moment with Adam man. A moment with Adam man. <laughs> All right, so a moment with Adam Man. Why don't you just refresh the people who Adam is while I got out um, Richard was living in Saskatoon at the time. This was about five years ago, more than that. And he was at work, or he was going to school at SIAS. And you met Adam in the hallway. And he's a fellow carpenter and a hell of a, hell of a yeah. man. Yeah. Knows what he's doing. Let's just see what Mr. Adam Man has to see. Having a thirsty beaver. Oh shit. What the hell? That's never happened. He's gone MIA. Or he's on the other line, isn't he? That's what the beeping is. I have no idea what the beeping is. 
Have you ever had that happen before when I've called anything? <laughs> It's a uh, call a friend here. We're just oh, calling a friend. friend. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice Okay. Well, I'm running out of ideas. So, so you know, another guy that I've been having a hard time getting in the studio who's grown up by my side this entire time, and he just, I'm thinking he's dodgy because that's just the kind of guy he is. He just, he'll, he'll find you when he wants to be found, but we're going to spring this on him. We're going to give this a shot. I'm going to just phone the guy, and then he we'll can't avoid me no more. We'll see what happens. We've so, mentioned him many times on the show to see if... Let's see if you can figure out who it is that we're calling. Yeah. No, you had me back score guys better know who the hell I'm calling by the tool. He's boy. the Matt David to the Jimmy King. <laughs> He's just never there, but will he answer? Is the question. <laughs> Suck you, that guy. <laughs> come on, answer your phone from time to time. Or just come out of your house from hiding. Fuck. Well, that was Josh Walner. <laughs> you heard five words from you. Yeah, there you go. So, so let's make this the show about nothing then. Yeah, well, let's just Seinfeld the whole thing. Oh, yeah, well, this is a show about nothing. You know. Tough to follow up people. Yeah, and that was last week and the live stream thing. And, um, so yeah. let's aim for how about what about your music? How's that rolling along? We have well, that should be on Spotify soon. Yeah, you know it's uh, it's coming along. We're gonna keep it raw, keep it real. It's the first thing I'm putting out. So you know I want to work in the future with Rain. Uh, out of PA for album. my 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 real album, you know. But this is just an EP of like six, seven tracks. It's gonna be excellent. Uh, do one with Pat Grimm. I'm working on one with Sequel. Last after week. Speaking we with them, yeah, last, last week. week yeah. Been in talks with Sequel. You're gonna, you're gonna find one with me and Sequel. Find one with Pat Grimm, and just I'm gonna fill in the voids in between. Um, uh, you know, it's a work in progress, but you know, every all great things are so. <laughs> Because really, I haven't put much out there, if anything at all. So this is just kind of a sampler thing to put out there and see what the people like. Because I'm you are a lot of tracks and a lot of different styles and different things. So you are a rapper. Right? I try, you know, I really do. <laughs> I'm not a singer. I can no, you're not an opera singer, right? No. Okay, no. we'll make that clear right now. It's, it's no, you don't want me. Shouting on a tune, that's for sure. No, well, your Celine Dion karaoke is pretty good. Heard that before. Well, he it's knows all emotion. Whole, he knows the whole Titanic soundtrack. It's all emotion. You know? <laughs> when, I, when I feel like I'm drowning, I just whip out my violin and just... And then chug a thirsty beaver. And, chug a, chug, and I just love wrapping my lips around a thirsty beaver. <laughs> and don't be all. I like the beer too. That's, mm. Excellent brew. Yeah. I'm quite the fan. If it is cost, if it's a reasonable priced beverage, I will be drinking these almost every episode from here on out, I'm going to have to say. Because this is pretty good. 
I am a fan. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. You know what else is Canadian just like a thirsty beaver? What's that? A fellow by the name of Mac Tate. Mac Tate, there we go. And I got from Saskatoon, only a few hours east of us. You, you represent. And, we get on maybe. this. Uh, his, I uh, put out a new album. It came out just not this last Sunday, but the Sunday prior to that on the 17th. And I want you guys to get this name right. Mac Tate's, and it is, steel is forged in fire. And obviously, excellent link will be below. It's when, on, when when compared to a beer, it's just as tasty as a thirsty beaver. This is Mac Tate's in the bottle. To your ear. Yeah. Doing, doing wonders on iTunes. Yeah. And, I'm sure uh, he knows a thing or two about Spotify. Beaver. Yeah. yeah, no, he's doing really well. So if uh, you guys are into good hip hop music and local stuff. Absolutely. Mac Tate's is throwing down with uh, an excellent album that's doing very well in the charts, in the hip hop charts. Mm -hmm. And as RTK said, links will be in the description, so you gotta check that out. It's one click on iTunes and Spotify and check all that out. So here's the thing, a little fresh reminder just to pump up one of our boys. Peter Daly's got a solo album finally coming out. And we mentioned this when he was a guest, this was... He was just back home in Nova Scotia. This was like, what, 10 episodes ago, but yeah. if you want to check it out, a little link thing there, check, click on that video, it'll bring Peter's interview right there, and... We'll plug a bunch of Peter's stuff. Homesick is the EP. Yeah, he's been working on it hard, and uh, he's got a lot of stuff on his links and things below, so, you know, check out Peter Daly. So, well, well, with that being said, what more can we say? It's been another great Thirsty Thursday. Um, look out for a album from R2K, look out for Peter Daly and Mac Tate, and also don't forget that sequel on September 20, or October 21st on the Saturday in Saskatoon, Saskatoon Event Center, Necro Match Out sequel will be opening for them, links will be below again, we're probably going to put links below until the show happens, we gotta promote that. And it's going to be a good show. And the next Respect the Elements, I hope to see anyone that follows us on here in the area to come out and check it out. Sequel puts a lot of work into it. It's a great time. And if you want to see me perform live, which I, I, I hold much more highly than any of my recorded stuff, just I uh, like to perform. It's the DJ in me. Uh, come out, check it out. We'll give you the dates as soon as we find out. So... With that, we will do... Cheers to you guys. Plug it and chug it. We just plugged it. Plug it. Now let's chug it. Happy Thirsty Thursdays. We plugged it. We plugged it. Now we'll just chug the Thirsty Beaver.